What's up everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood French Canadian and today I'll show you how to get the armor set that I'm wearing which is the Rotten Duelist set and I'll also go over how to get all the weapons as well as the white variation of this set which is just the Duelist set. I absolutely love them and I see a lot of people in my comments always asking where to get the red version especially so I decided to make a video uh, walkthrough of it. So this is what the full sets look like, I'll show you. Uh, both of them altered and non-altered so basically if you have it not altered you'll have the cape but the hood will be down if you have the helmet the hood will be up which i think looks a bit uh, too bulky in my opinion but it looks really good with the helmet and without the cape and it's just a perfect set for a barbarian type character maybe even an executioner type of character and I like both sets, I can't say which one is my favorite, probably the red one because like the colors pop more, but I think both of them are really, really great. So to get the entire Rotten Duelist set, you need to kill three Rotten Duelists, and they're all located in the Consecrated Snowfields. So you will need to get the Secret Medallion uh, before you can get there, but once you do, they're all located here. Now there's two in the open world, and there's one in a catacomb, unfortunately. And it is really, really annoying to go through, but I will show you uh, how to get through it as well. So the first one is by the town of Ordina, the liturgical town. So you want to take that side of grace, and you want to go left here around the back of the town. And the duelist will be chilling right there, uh, looking out, thinking about his life, his choices, why he's here. And while he does that, we're going to go bonk him. Now don't underestimate these dudes, they're uh, pretty rough. I'm just gonna use Flame of the Red Main to, you know, hopefully get a stance break on him because they're pretty rough. So you should get the Greaves and the Axe from this guy. So the second Rotten Duelist is uh, near the entrance to the Halic Tree area. Uh, basically, he's right there in a graveyard, so it's really close to that side of grace. So he's right there. You'll get the Rotten Battle Hammer and the Rotten Duelist du Helm from uh, defeating this guy. So for the third Duelist, as I mentioned, he's a boss in the Consecrated Snowfield Catacombs. It's right here. So if you look at this side of Grace, like you can easily just follow the wall here and then uh, you'll find the entrance to the catacombs. And I'll show you how to get through it because there's a bit of uh, some puzzles and stuff. So uh, I'll show you how to get to the boss really quickly. There's going to be a nymph uh, right here that's going to fall on you. Carry through here, there's going to be another one here. Just avoid him. Obviously this door will be closed if it's the first time you do this uh, catacomb. So now I hit this thing once and it's going that way, but you want to hit it so it starts uh, breathing forward. I guess whatever hit me hit hit it for me, so thank you, I guess. <laughs> gonna be another imp here trying to hit you and somehow he got me anyways. Because of course. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. Now here you don't want to go uh, forward right away, you just want to wait till it breathes the cold air thing and then you want to rush forward, but there's an imp so you might get hit anyways. Sometimes I pull him here, 
so he gets hit. And sometimes he doesn't. Ah, he got hit, dumbass. You just wanna hit this thing? Oh my gosh. Go on top of it. Then somehow hit it so that it doesn't throw you off. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so jumping attack seems like the way to go. And the lever to open the boss door will be right here. So once you do that, uh, you can hit this thing again, I guess. And then just run this way. Not gonna look behind me, nope. And the boss room will be right here. I think he gives you the cloak because we already have the helmet, the um, greaves, and there's no there's no bracers or anything for that set. So for the regular set, the, the issue is all my games are past end games, so I can't show you the dudes exactly because they won't spawn anymore. However, I can still show you the exact location uh, that they will spawn in. Now, if your game is normal, you want to take the avenue balcony side of grace. And now there's another side of grace that is closer, but I forgot the name. Um, I will show you though when I get there where the side of grace usually is. So you should recognize this ladder here once you go up to it uh, after you've climbed that dragon. Just make your way forward and the side of grace, if I recall correctly, it should be here. So right here. All you need to do is uh, go forward here. You know, usually there's like a large gargoyle and stuff. And uh, basically you want to make your way where the earth benders usually are. There's usually like a big, big, big tree here uh, that can get you up top, but it's not there anymore. So basically you want to make your way on this row, there will be two of them, one with two hammers and one with two great axes, and uh, all you want to do is farm them, unfortunately. It does take a while, the drop rate seems kind of abysmal, but if you use, you know, the, the scarab that helps you with the drop rate, as well as having an arcane build will help you a lot to make this way faster. Or you can get someone to drop them for you, of course. <laughs> but that is how you get the white variation of this set. So that's it everyone, you should have everything now. If you want more Elden Ring videos, there are plenty more on my channel. And if you're looking for a Discord community where you can find people to play the game with, help you with bosses or PvP, you can find the link to my Discord channel down in the description below. So have yourself a wonderful day everyone, and I'll see you all very soon.